across several of the lanes here as Jax made his way back to get Cole. And a play to the mid lane forces a flash out of Bjergsen as Ignar is already on the roam. And you can that see. Is here because if you get shuffled in and a Grave shows up, you are going to be in trouble. A little bit of damage there comes out of Solo now. The jungler is going to show up as well. Broken Blade's going to get his, da his dodge already on cooldown. This is the play coming in, but the jungler is right across the wall, flashed to the pit, and now they see that Spika is there. They see the vision. They know what's going on. You can attack him the wall, you cannot Q. He kills a control ward. That allows Broken Blade to walk back out and heal back up. They're still able to get the push, get a recall when they want it, get BF Sword Boots. Plus the Drake Reader talked about. Very good stuff down here, but now TF is going to probably head topside. Solo is alone. Biofrost already there. Gold card lands. Oh. Great play. Greatly played by Biofrost. First <laughs> blood goes through to Broken Blade. Players coming around. Solo does have ulti. Ash coming across the map. Caitlyn the same. Here comes the play. Ulti coming across. How many knockups can Solo get? One and two as big damage on the Spika forces the shield out. Double ult from Biofrost. Re engage. Easy Q. Jump in for Spika. He's going to get the dunk across. First blood goes to Wild Turtle. Well, First for the game of FlyQuest, I should say, as Tees have got one earlier, but the trap comes in. Before Good damage. They're going to try to start it off with a pick on Turtle. Yep, they're going to go for the Bartle. That's going to land. Easy one on the Turtle. Here comes round two. Easy stun. Here comes the rest, but he still cannot move. Nothing can be done, and Wild Turtle has been tamed. Oh, under the backside, and there's number two. Harold's going to be summoned for not a whole lot out of Santorin. I think he just pressed the button overall, but now he's summoned by Bjergsen as well. Careful, buddy. You're on a 1v3. Slowed by Bard, and just like that, TSM gonna pick up three kills in a row and the Drake's right in front of their eyes. Turtles just wanted to play some League of Legends, but TSM was not letting them. Well, Power Viva wants to play some League as well, is stunned though. That makes this chase and Bjergsen a bit difficult. Does he have Q up in a second? He needs one more spell and he's not got the cooldown nor the mana. Oh, make it happen. With the Ash Arrow, you have the CDR built to relatively low cooldown. Try to create picks and they are going immediately with that TF ultimate. Oh, they're going to find some more stuns right here. Solo is out of health. His flash was used, and it does not matter. Broken Blade gets the easy kill as the rest of the team shows up. And TSM knowing show, sorry, showing no signs of slowing down. Arrow right there. Flash stun going to find some more. Now the exhaust. Turtle's going to run for his life. Can he get away? A flash over the net. Double it with perfect mechanics. What are you feeling comfortable? Down. They've got vision control. They've got the Drake in their eyes looking to stack number two for them. As FlyQuest move back around. They actually have kind of segmented TSM. They've got a momentary moment of looking for maybe a 5v4. Jumping in for the steal, it will be grabbed. Santorin claims it, stuns across the board, but look at the front line. It oh, is that Bardo! The dunk in, the Bardo over the top. There's going to be two more kills most likely. The shuffle comes back from Azir, and it's already a two for zero. Here comes number three. Bjergsen gets the gold card, gets the chase down, gets the double kill for the Jax. TSM loses my fight. They do not lose the real fight. And they are lucky that Baron isn't up, or that could have been an easy Baron. Now they're going for the dive. They want everyone. They're gonna get Santorin, most likely the flash to guarantee it. There's the ace under the turret. TSM will not die in this final. Much for turret pressure so far this series, but they've certainly been winning team fights and winning neutral objectives time and again as Broken Blade keeps battling solo. And even with the early Bramble Vest picked up, Broken Blade obviously feels comfortable. And now Twisted Fate is here as well. Ornolt comes in, tries to be in gold card, not gonna happen. Goes down yet again. It is effortless for TSM to pick on any one they want. Half thousand remains the lead. TP into the bottom lane. We've got more pressure coming in as Bjergsen wants another fight. Here comes the rest of the squad. Can they get the stun? They're gonna get the pullback there from Spika. Almost walks into the Ash Arrow. Dunk into the wall. Does he have the damage on Spika's side? Maybe just not. Ignar is here though. Maybe they can find themselves a single kill. Something back. Ord comes in. Doesn't have the ulti though. And Spika gets the shield and walks away. Caitlyn Snipe gonna make it close. Turret aggro will swap and that will actually kill him off. Biofrost could have tanked turret. He could have stood still. Yeah. And turret damage in the top lane. And Bjergsen's going back in. He wants some more, but there are a lot of FlyQuest members around. I don't know if they realize what they're getting themselves into. All right, going to look for a potential four on two. Magical Journey going to try to buy some time, but cannot save Bjergsen as well. And it's still going to be the chase down. They're going to find two kills. Yes, some turrets fell, but at least some shutdowns were picked up. Well, sometimes, you know, you're being left alone. And hey, look, it's him again in a one versus two. Trying to run away. Trying to be in the gold card. Still gets stunned, to be fair. So the reinforcements come across, and now they're trying for another re-engage. Looking at Broken Blade, they find the stun, but they can't get any more than that, as TSM are pushing around the top side. They're going to get a lot of damage here. The TP's going to burn. They're trying to rush down this Baron, and Flash doesn't show up now, because the health bar is running lower, and Baron is getting out of hell. So here comes the play. Cannot get the smite steal. Well done to Spika. He finds the kill. He finds the Baron, and now it's time for TSM to walk all over this game. Possible to actually have enough damage to, to get through those, those minions. And here comes the next round as Solo's going to be in danger. Has to wait for when the bind might come through. Doesn't quite get stunned in place, but he's still not going to have the health bar for much longer. Solo is going to drop. 
Ignar shows up to lose half his health bar as well, and TSM keep finding more things to do. Shirelli has moved, healing back up with the mini wave, and then looking at the inhibitor turret. This time around, Panthen is coming down. Orn Horn is sounded. They're gonna look for damage on a broken blade. He will flash the first knockup, but Azir is here, flash with the knockback. They're going for this one, but Baron is currently being attacked. So you killed Broken Blade. Congratulations, a broken base is what Flagos are about to have as the Baron is picked up with no contest whatsoever. This dragon, but Spika is heading over what here, and he has the potential to get in there and steal it. What if Spika? What if? Now he doesn't get it. Infernal Soul does go over, but Twisted Fate is going to see where the movement is because the base is being attacked. And there's only two to defend. Upgrades Solo. from that Orin, so FlyQuest are going to try to hold on here. It's TSM's job to close out now. Biofrost starting it up. The team fight might come in. Here comes the Jax TP. Perfectly timed stun. Biofrost almost dead. Stays alive, though. Ornhorn comes across. Can't kill Biofrost. Thanks for the redemption. Here comes the re-engage. Centaurin is low. The set dunk comes in for Spika, but Spika is low. Shield comes up. They find the first kill. Flag was one for zero. Traded back right away. Solo losing health rapidly as Devil puts down so much damage. But Power Mule does have a chance to maybe carry this game. It's going to be damn hard, but he's trying to get it done. Gold card. Book puts him at half. Looking for maybe the re-engage, not going to go all the way in. That the team may continue. Two minutes on Baron, two and a half on Elder. Nothing to do but Siege right now. As they push in towards Solo, Dodge comes in, doesn't find much. Ward's fought over. Solo going to take a lot of damage here. Can't kill him just yet, but here comes the dunk yet again. Going to the fight again. This could be a whole lot done as TF shows up and they can't find the Solo stun. Turtle gets away, cleanses the gold card, but the Siege is on because top lane turret is going to fall. Redemption heals back up and it's a full on 5v4. that much harder, and there was only one Nexus turret left. So Baron is grabbed. For the amount battle. of power that will be over on that TSM side. So here comes the attempt. It is Double Lift easily able to solo. There's no chance at all that Elder Dragon wins this fight. And right now, Double Lift, the Dova Keen, going to have no problems taking this one away. But it's FlyQuest trying to take the fight. Now keep in mind, though, TF can still push. They go for the big play in the front side. Elder Dragon is grabbed. And that's going to be the team fight. It's already over. You've already got a jungler dead. Speaking going to get the shields. He's going to get the heals. He's going to stay alive. The slows are in. Double Lift is still on the chase. But he's got to be careful. He steps up. He gets knocked up. And he will get a trade kill against the opposing AD carry. Spears from the cross. The, the tank end. is tanky, but Bjergsen is going going for the end, and no one is here to stop him as Solo is running away. Ignar is trying to show up, but the minion wave is there, and TSM make it a 2-0 lead in the LCS 2020 Summer Final. What a start to this finals for TSM. They are looking so damn good, playing their own style, focusing on top lane.